For me, keeping a boat outside is almost as bad as like chaining up a dog. <laughs> yes, it's almost as bad as chaining up a dog to a tree. You can see there is some oxidation on the gel coat here. And that's what we're gonna try to fix today. This is a Pathfinder 2200. I'm not real crazy about the fact that it's on a single action trailer, but when I started looking at the specs, it's only like 1300 pounds. I'm gonna give it the love and care that it needs, get some of this oxidation out of the, the side of the boat. If we clean this really good and get some of the oxidation off, it's gonna make polishing and restoring the gel coat a lot easier. So let's go to the shop here. Oh, we need this. This is what we're going to use to pretty much knock some of that oxidation off. I'm going to spray this on, let it set for about two minutes, and then I'll come back and brush it off. You'll need a good clean brush, rinse, and get all of that off. Yeah. This particular boat did come with a Everu G2, so obviously uh, I do have a new engine on order. We're gonna repower that with the 150 Pro XS. As soon as my engine comes in, we're gonna do a whole repower vlog, which is something I would highly encourage you guys to do. Like I, <clears throat> I wanted a brand new bay boat, but when I started looking at the prices of brand new bay boats, it just, it wasn't even reasonable. I took the option to buy an older boat. This boat is a 2003, which makes it 17, 18 years old. 2003, I was two years out of high school. All right, today I'm working inside because it is 29, 31, it's too cold. If I can get away with it, I'm not gonna wet sand, polish, and wax mainly because that's a lot of work. This is the worst area on the boat right here. I think it was getting the reflection off the fenders was kind of cast on the the um, fiberglass here. So it faded extra bad right around the fenders. The rest of it is actually in really good condition. You can see it's, it's got a little bit of a shine there. If I can get this to give me a mirror finish, then I know that I'll have a mirror finish on the rest of the boat and I won't have to do the extra work of wet sanding acid washing again, polishing, and then waxing. I can only do two steps instead of three. So here's my orbital, I don't want to say orbital buffer, whatever you want to call these things. So what you want to do is you want to start with a polish and then you want to end with a wax and uh, just start with a small section to see exactly how bad this oxidation is and if this is going to work with it. I just put a little bit on my pad like that. Before I I would have said before I turn it on, I like to move it around, but I accidentally turned it on. I usually take the take my orbital and I move it around on the area that I'm about to buff, like that. With a bunch of liquid on there, it's just gonna sling it all over the place, which is, you know, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But uh, you can see, this is why you acid wash your fiberglass before you actually start polishing because if I didn't acid wash, this would be triple the amount of green film on the side. That's basically the oxidation. You want to start on speed one, you start on it. Does that outwork the, the, the product into the, to the glass, into the gel coat a little bit? You want to speed it up. And you'll notice it'll start to get a little bit more shine. So I started on one. <coughs> we'll go up to about setting number three. And then we'll work that back and forth for four or five minutes. And you'll start to notice each time it'll get a little bit, a little bit more of a mirror finish every time. You just gotta be patient, take your time and do small sections. I like to do shoulder to shoulder. Once you speed it up, you'll really start to notice. You'll start to notice the mirror finish to pop in and in. Let 
Really good mirror finish. You can see my camera in it already good, buddy. That green gonna be shining like money. They gonna call this a money pathfinder by the time this is over. Pretty good mirror finish. You can see how it dulls out once you get over here. That looks pretty good. Doesn't seem like I missed any spots. It's got a, you, know, you can see, I can see the camera back there in me. And right here you can see the oxidation is building up a little bit. Like this is what I just worked for literally five or 10 minutes right here. Now look right over here. You can, you can notice a big difference. So I started off with one like this. I was just curious to see if one does a better job than the other, if I would get more scuff marks with the foam pad versus the, the wool buffer. And so I did this little section towards the back. Did this little section right here with the foam pad. And I gotta be honest with you, the results seem to be pretty much the same. So right in here around the logos was foam pad and just right here is with the wool pad doesn't really seem to be that big of a difference now when I get it out in the light I may be able to tell a bigger a better difference but I gotta say that is pretty good compared to how we started out literally just maybe 45 minutes ago so one of my main motivations for making this video is I know a lot of times guys uh, shy away from buying older boats a lot of times as long as even if a boat hasn't been taken the best care of it's been left outside it still can be brought by, back to life and almost just as good as a new rig the most important components on your boat is usually the trolling motor and the engine and your batteries a lot of the other stuff with just a little bit a few dollars i think i have maybe 75 bucks tied up in materials today not including the new buffing machine that i bought um that's about all i have my time is what i've got mostly tied up in this so if you have the time and you're willing to put a little bit of elbow grease in it you can bring a boat that's 18 years old this thing by the time i get finished with it will look primo it's gonna be it's gonna be bussing it's time to actually apply the wax. Now, just the washing I did one evening, the second day I came in and polished just the hole, just the outside hole. It looks pretty good. If you look at it now, it looks just fine with the polish on it, but that's not gonna last that long, especially with salt water. That, that's gonna, first time I haul it in the rain, it's gonna pull that polish right off. So this is what I'm using right here. Premium Restore Wax from Starbright is what I'm going to use to uh, to finish our restore job here. You can see I, I've got, you can see that reflection right there. Look at that. Is that a little bit of reflection? We've got some reflection going on, but this is going to let that, that when I apply the wax, it's going to make that shine last a lot longer. All right. Just like what we've been doing before, I'm going to take, put just a little bit of product on my buffing pad, not a lot. The more you put on there, the more work it's gonna create for you. You wanna take it on there, I'll rub it in like that first. Like putting lotion on ashy knees. All right.
three days into it, I finally finished my project. It was a lot of elbow grease. It was it was a lot of work, but honestly, the money that I saved in buying an older boat, 18 years old, when I pull this thing out and you get to see it, like the whole package. Remember, this is an 18 year old boat. Like it's it's like almost half as old as I am. So um, I would highly encourage you guys if you're looking to buy a new rig, and you can see it's kind of got a, you know just needs a little love. All right, that's where I was on this boat. I could see, what, what's the word that people use? You could see the rough and the dust or the gem in the corner or whatever, whatever y'all say about when you, something's ugly but you can see the big picture. Like look for the big picture when you're out there looking for a used boat. It might be one that looks like the glass is a little rough. Honestly, faded fiberglass is super easy to fix. It was really just my work, my time, my elbow grease that I had tied up in this project. And this is how it turned out. Thank you. 